the theory of chaos states the formation of our solar system just happened. Proof of intelligent design to our solar system would destroy the theory of chaos. In 1995, Solag released the Creator Formula. Fans of Solag say the Creator Formula and Solag's Planetary Distance Formula are the mathematical proof that the solar system was intelligently designed. Can it be Solag has given mankind the proof of God? In the Creator Formula, Solag shows how two symbols in the creation myths of several major religions are a simple formula to create the perfect circumference of the earth. The two main symbols of the Creator Formula are the cube and the period of 100 years. The cube appears in ancient Egyptian symbolism as a symbol for creation. The cube was considered the earth by the Pythagoreans of ancient Greece. The cube is represented as the Holy of Holies in the Old Testament. Brahma, the creator god of Hinduism, sits on a cube throne that is said to represent earth. A symbol of creation in Buddhism is the cube. To this day, Muslims dance around a black cube in Mecca. The number 100 is also featured prominently in the creation myths of ancient religions. Abraham was 100 when Isaac, the father of Israel, was born. Brahma lived to be 100 years old, and Hindu myth says the earth was designed using the age of Brahma, that being 100 years. In ancient Greece, the god Hermes was said to measure the earth using his books of wisdom. The number of Hermes' books was 36,525. That number is the amount of days in 100 years. NASA has spent millions of dollars to measure the Earth exactly. NASA says the equatorial circumference of the Earth is 24,902 miles. The polar circumference of the Earth is 24,860 miles. The average of these two numbers is 24,881 miles. 24,881 is the average circumference of the Earth. The cube is described mathematically as having six sides, eight corners, and twelve lines of dimension. That is expressed mathematically as 6, 8, 12. The creator formula uses two numbers. The first is the days in 100 years of Earth orbits around the Sun. That number is 36,525. The second number is based on the dimensions of the cube. Six sides, eight corners, and twelve lines of dimensions. 36,525 times 0 .6812 equals 24,881, the perfect circumference of the Earth. Why do the days and 100 years of Earth orbits multiplied by the dimensions of a cube equal the perfect circumference of the Earth? Why do these symbols appear in the ancient creation myths of Egypt, Greece, Judaism, Buddhism, Hinduism, and Islam? The reason Salag called this formula the Creator Formula is due to it being an acronym for Circumference Ratio Earth Aligned to Orbital Rotations Creator In 2002, Salag released a proof for his creator formula. That proof is known as PDF, or the Planetary Distance Formula. The first part of PDF explains how all the eye visible planets in our solar system are ratio aligned to Earth. The only exception is Venus. The odds of Mercury, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn all being ratio aligned to Earth is astronomical. The fact that these planets are indeed ratio aligned to Earth is proof the theory of chaos is false. The fact that four out of five eye visible planets in our solar system are ratio aligned to Earth 
is proof that our solar system was intelligently designed. The way to see the ratio alignment is by comparing the circumferences of these ratio aligned planets to Earth and then analyzing the circumference ratios to the orbital ratios. For instance, the circumference of Mercury is 9,525 miles. The circumference of Earth is 24,000 881 miles. The ratio between 9,525 and 24,881 is 0.38. That is the circumference ratio. This number matches the orbital ratio. The distance of Mercury to the Sun is 36 million miles. The distance of Earth to the Sun is 93 million miles. The ratio of 36 to 93 is 0.38. That is the same ratio as the circumference ratio between Mercury and Earth. These two numbers should not be aligned to each other perfectly in a solar system created by chaos. The next planet in our solar system that is aligned to Earth in this exact manner is Saturn. The circumference of Saturn is 235,296 miles. The circumference of Earth is 24,881 miles. The ratio between 24,881 and 235,296 is 0.10. The distance of Saturn to the Sun is 890.8 million miles. The distance of Earth to the Sun is 93 million miles. The ratio between the distance of Saturn to the Sun and the Earth to the Sun is 0 0.10. Once again, the circumference ratio of Earth and a planet matches the ratio of the distances of these two planets to the Sun. Both planets, Mercury and Saturn, are perfectly aligned to their circumference ratios to Earth and their orbital distances to the Sun. Proof of design. The next two planets that align to the circumference of Earth to their own circumferences are Mars and Jupiter. Both planets have circumference ratios perfectly aligned to Earth since the period of their orbits around the Sun are ratio aligned to Earth's orbit around the Sun and circumference. For instance, the circumference of Mars is 13,264 miles. The circumference of Earth is 24,881 miles. The ratio between Mars and Earth is 13,264 to 24,881, or 0.53. The orbital ratio between Mars and Earth is the same number, 0.53. Mars orbits the Sun in 687 days. Earth orbits the Sun in 365.25 days. The ratio between these two orbital numbers is 0.53, the same exact ratio as the circumference ratio between these two planets. The next planet in our solar system to be perfectly aligned to Earth is Jupiter. The circumference of Jupiter is 279,118 miles. The circumference of Earth is 24,881 miles. The ratio between 279,118 and 24,881 is 0 0.08. Jupiter's orbit around the Sun is 4,331 days. Earth's orbit around the Sun is 365.25 days. The ratio between 365.25 and 4,331 is 0 0.08, the exact same ratio as the circumference ratio between Earth and Jupiter. As you can see, both Mars and Jupiter are ratio aligned to Earth's circumference, as is Mercury and Saturn. Why are 80% of the eye visible planets ratio aligned perfectly to Earth's circumference and orbital measurements? In a solar system created by chaos, these planets would not be ratio aligned to Earth. Chaos did not create the solar system. It was intelligently designed as the planetary distance formula clearly shows. 
Isn't it amazing that most religious paths have the key symbols of the creator formula in their creation myths? The time has come for world religions to unite to one truth. That truth is, we live within a created solar system. Thank you.